Hey y'all, it's Trenton and I'm back to do another video. Uh, I forget exactly which case the fast cash came in uh, because I didn't receive it in one of my cases, uh, but I did pick it up on a short card here at my local HEB. Uh, so this one didn't come in one of my cases before, but I wanted to review it because this is from the Tool in One series. Uh, the 2016 Hot Wheels Tool in One Series. Uh, I think these cars are cool. I'm going to try to make sure I cover all of them. Uh, but these are all cars that have some use uh, beyond just being used as a Hot Wheels car. And uh, beyond being able to uh, go on the track or, or be played with uh, like you might normally do with a Hot Wheels car. But this is the Fast Cash. And uh, it serves as a money clip or it could be a business card holder as well uh, so we're going to demonstrate the use of that uh, this one was first released in 2011 I believe we saw it again uh, in 2012 and uh, I don't know if we've seen it again since then until 2016 uh, so here it is this is the fast cash it uh, kind of resembles an old rat rod maybe uh, but definitely definitely has uh, some unique characteristics to it uh, so this one I'm gonna zoom in here on the side let you see all these details uh, you'll notice it's got rivets all over it it's supposed to have kind of that armored car look and uh, you see the money symbols there on the uh, on the side there at both doors so it's it's a four-door car or five if you want to count the one in the back we'll look at it in a second uh, but these look like vault doors they've got heavy duty hinges there on the side for maximum security you see the smoke stack right there on the side uh, wheels it's rolling on the OH5 wheels there and then we'll take a look at the top here okay so the top of it besides having uh, fingerprints on it now uh, doesn't have a lot of detail some of the early ones that we saw uh, when they first released this model had more detail on the top and I did like the the detail that they put on some of the uh, earlier models we saw of this but if you look here at the engine it does have some detail there uh, that top cap there on the engine I don't know how well this is going to show up but that's the circle flame logo and the bottom one uh, kinda looks like some kind of skull Though I don't know if it's showing up very clearly on the video. It kind of depends on what angle you get it from. Uh, but that has been uh, cast into the molding there for that. The front of it, we've got the dollar sign. There's that dollar sign there. That's pretty cool on the front of on the front grill there on this exposed engine. There's the view from the front and the other side is pretty much the same now if we switch to the back there's a vault door with a combination lock on it doesn't work uh, too small although it'd be cool if somebody could uh, come up with a custom version of that that really did work um, but that's going to represent a vault door anyways for maybe a big uh, money vault at the bank now is this useful maybe maybe not I think this would be great as a business card holder on your desk it could work really well for that I don't know how practical it is to carry around in your pocket uh, to hold your money but you could do it so got a little bit of cash here I'm not not really banking so uh, there's a five and maybe a couple of tens in there it's about the best I can hope for but there you go. Uh, if you fold it up like that, we'll zoom out a little bit, see that a little bit better. If you fold it up like that, it works pretty well. And uh, there you see it holds it pretty securely. If I shake it, it doesn't come out. I'm not going to expose my credit card numbers here, so I'll just use my Zonar card here. And uh, that fits in there rather nicely still holds that so uh, you could use it that way you could turn everything well although I like it you, I guess if you're gonna roll it down the track that might work 
Um, but I like it a little bit better going sideways. It makes it a little bit more compact as a money clip like that. Another feature to this car is the bottom. So uh, they went to to some trouble to uh, make this a little more interesting. So we've got some different currency symbols on the bottom. Uh, so right here next to the rivet, I believe that is the British pound. I believe that's the symbol for the British pound. I'm not sure on all of these. Um, this little one right here next to my thumb, I cannot identify that one. I'm not sure what that one is, but it uh, shows up on both sides. All right, as we scroll up, um, that one right there doesn't exactly look like the yen, but that was the closest one I could tell that it might be. So I'd like to hear from y'all if y'all know what these are, um, especially that one right there, I'm not sure. Um, is that supposed to represent the yen, or, or is that just coincidence that it sort of looks like that? This over here, the B, I believe that is the uh, the bot, the Thai bot from Thailand, uh, one of their currencies there. And then I'm pretty sure that's the euro right there, that kind of uh, right there, the front suspension. I believe that's going to be the euro. And if you see any other hidden ones that I left out, uh, please put it down in the comments. I'd like to hear. Uh, so there's some of you out there that might notice things that I haven't noticed. And um, oh, got out of focus there. If that's the case, uh, please let us know what you find out, especially those two uh, right in front of the rear wheels. I'd like to know what that is. Or if I was incorrect on any of them, uh, you could let me know on that as well. Uh, but there's another view of it. That is the fast cash. First time we've seen it in a few years. Uh, but it's back, and I don't think we're going to get any recolors on this. I think that may be all as has been the case for the Tool in One series this year. Uh, but there you go. Let me know your comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.